Aloha! Welcome to Lesson 3 of our Natural Clock Diapering class here on Easy Peasy. In this video, I'm going to show you close up the various styles or types of natural clock diapers. We're going to cover all-in-one, pocket, all-in-two, fitted diaper with cover, pre-fold with cover, and flat cloth diaper with cover. First, I'm going to explain the various types of closures that can be found on cloth diapers. Then I'll tell you about fasteners that can be used on the absorbent layer under a cover. And we'll talk about sizing convention when it comes to cloth diapers. After that, we'll dive on in and look at the various styles of cloth diapers. For each one, I will define that style and I will also show you how you would put it on the baby. This is a long video, so once you've watched the intro to it, if you'd like to skip on ahead to a particular style of cloth diaper, I will include timestamps in the index below this video so you can go ahead to the style you're interested in. A big thank you to Green Mountain Diapers for supplying most of the cloth diapers shown in these videos. Green Mountain Diapers is an online cloth diapering store with a wealth of information about cloth diapering. If you're curious about the pros and cons or why you would choose one of these styles over another, please subscribe and turn on notifications. In lesson four, we'll be covering tips for building a cloth diaper stash. For our diaper closures, there are three main options that are commonly used. Snaps, hook and loop, or a pull-on style diaper, which isn't technically a closure, but you would just pull this up and onto the baby. So for a diaper that closes with snaps, you bring the wing around and snap it in place. Type of closure is referred to as hook and loop. This part here is the loops, and this rougher side here is the hook. These are laundry tabs, so you can close it before you wash the items so they don't snag anything in the laundry. So when you're gonna use it, just open up the laundry tab, and it's super easy just to bring it around and stick it on. Two brand names you might see referred to are Velcro or Applix closure, and the more generic name is to call this a hook and loop closure. For a pull-on style diaper cover, you're simply gonna pull it up onto your baby. When you're using an absorbent cloth diaper paired with a cover, there are two different scenarios. Either your absorbent layer may have its own closure, such as snaps or hook and loop, However, if it doesn't have a closure, such as a pre-fold or a flat, then there are options to use to fasten the cloth diaper onto your baby. This is a snappy. It has these three arms with claws on it. There's also something called a boingo. It has just two arms and they're star-shaped. That's an option you could use, or you could use old-fashioned diaper pins. These are the free diaper pins you can get when you place an order with Green Mountain Diapers. And this is a little bit upgraded version that are side locking. It costs $1 if you'd like to purchase these ones from Green Mountain Diapers. A snappy fastener is a pretty easy option to use. They're really popular these days. You can use it with a pre-fold or flat diaper. So for first you'll want to wrap the diaper around your baby, get it all ready. Then you hook one side stretch it and hook the other side, and stretch it and hook the bottom. And that does a pretty good job holding it in place before you go ahead and put the cover on. When talking about sizing for cloth diapers, a term that's often used is rise. So I wanna to explain to you what that means. If you're measuring a baby's rise, you would start from about belly button level in the front, bring the measuring tape between their legs and go up to the same belly button height in the back. So for this doll, that's showing that she has about a nine inch rise with this diaper she's wearing. When talking about cloth diaper sizing, there are three main categories. There are cloth diapers that are one size, which means it will fit a very wide range of sizes of babies. They're sometimes referred to as birth to potty training, but often they're not going to fit a baby right away from birth. They might start fitting better around the 10 pound mark. There's what's called sized diapers, and that means they will come in a variety of sizes. It could be small, medium, large, or size one, size two, size three. Another term for that is true size diapers. And then there are newborn diapers that are specially made for newborns. And that's because even one size diapers may not fit a small newborn. Newborns can be so small with such tiny little legs that they just need their own category of newborn size diapers. 
Now we're gonna take a closer look at this one size diaper. This particular one I have here is a Thirsty's Natural Pocket Diaper and it's intended to fit anywhere from eight to 40 pounds. What you're gonna see when you're looking at a one size diaper is there will be rows of rise snaps and this allows you to adjust the rise. So we have, we looked at earlier measuring the baby's rise, which refers to this measurement from the front around to the back. That's adjustable on a one size diaper and that's how it makes it so it can fit quite a range of sizes of babies. So if you wanted to put this on the smallest rise setting, you would take this row of snaps and snap them up here. Make sure any of the excess fabric in here is pointing up. So now this is the shortest rise setting that this diaper can be on and you can bring around these flaps to snap the waist snaps. This diaper is designed to fit from eight pounds, but it is gonna be a much higher rise than a newborn diaper would be. Just to give you a comparison, this is putting the blueberry newborn diaper on top. And see overall, the newborn diaper is a shorter rise and it's just smaller all around than what this one size pocket diaper can get down to. Now, once your baby grows a bit and they've outgrown this rise setting, then you can adjust it so that this one size diaper can keep fitting your baby even though your baby's grown taller. Now instead you can take this row of rise snaps and snap them up. Make sure the excess fabric cover is pointing up. So this is it on the middle setting of the rise. Bring the waist snaps around and snap it. So once your baby's outgrown the smallest setting, you can move on to this middle setting. And then once your baby gets bigger, even taller, you can leave the rise snaps all the way unsnapped. So this would be the largest rise setting on this diaper. And then you can put the waist snaps wherever you need to fit your baby. So this is how a one size diaper is able to fit such a wide range of heights and weights of babies is because you're able to adjust this rise length on it and adjust how far you bring in the waist snaps as well. Now for an example of a sized diaper, I have to show you the Blueberry Simplex Organic Pull-On Style all-in-one diaper, and this is a size medium. So when you're looking at a size diaper, they can come in small, medium, large, extra large, or size one, two, three. So the difference here is since this is sized, there's no snaps on the front to adjust the rise. You're only going to have this one rise on it. However, you can adjust the waist or hip size a bit by using these snaps on the side. And on the side snapping version, it's a nice stretchy material here. So you can bring these in and make it smaller around the waist and the hips. That's the only adjustment that you can do on this medium sized one. This medium size is intended to fit from 12 to 28 pounds. So this is something that would be used right after outgrowing newborn size diapers. A baby could move into the size medium and then if they outgrow this, they can move on to the size large. So that is an example of a size diaper. Now, as an example of a newborn diaper, this is a Blueberry Simplex Organic All-in-One Newborn Size Diaper. So again, like I said earlier, one size diapers may not fit right away from birth. If you have a baby who's five, six, seven, eight, maybe even nine pounds, they may not be able to go straight into one size diapers. So first they would wear newborn diapers. Newborn legs can be super itty bitty, teeny tiny, and also just a newborn diaper is gonna have less bulk and a shorter rise. And one thing you might want to look for on a newborn diaper as well is an umbilical stump snap down. 
So when baby still has that umbilical cord stump, that can give space for the stump to be right above it if it snaps down like that. Generally, newborn diapers fit in a range of around six pounds to 12 pounds. This particular one says that it's intended for six pounds to 16 pounds. And something to keep in mind as well, as babies can even be too small for these newborn diapers if they're born maybe in the four or five pound range. Then they might need something intended more for a preemie. Now let's take a look at the various styles of natural cloth diapers. An all-in-one cloth diaper is a one-piece cloth diaper where the inner absorbency is sewn to the outer waterproof layer. I have three examples here of all-in-one diapers. Take a closer look at this Thirsty's Newborn Natural All-in-One Cloth Diaper. This is the hook and loop closure, but you can also get Thirsty's All-in-One Diapers with snap closure, and the snap version would have an umbilical cord snap down. What this one has is it has these rise snaps on front, so if you have a really small baby, you can snap these up to make the rise a little bit shorter. On the inside is the absorbency sewn to the diaper. This flap is organic cotton, and this one is organic cotton and hemp mix. And there's a little bit of absorbency right here sewn to the waterproof layer. This design is just to make it so it's easier to wash and dry by having these separate layers. Since they are all attached to the waterproof cover, this is an all-in-one cloth diaper. It's all one piece. Putting an all-in-one cloth diaper on a baby is one simple step. You slide the diaper under the baby, bring it up around, bring the tab up and over their leg, stick it on. This hook and loop closure is the closest thing you'll find to a disposable diaper in cloth diapering. It's super easy to put on an all-in-one hook and loop closure diaper. And then you're going to just want to double check and make sure you've got a nice tight fit around the legs. Make sure all the absorbent material is under the waterproof cover. Let's take a closer look at the Blueberry Simplex Organic All-in-One Newborn Diaper. This one only comes in snaps. The umbilical cord snap down here. So on the inside, this absorbency, the organic cotton, is sewn to the waterproof cover, making it an all-in-one diaper. It also has a tongue with more of the absorbency, so it's easier to wash and dry by having that separate. And then these Blueberry Simplex are a special design where it kind of combines an all-in-one with a pocket diaper. So there's a pocket here, which allows you to add extra absorbency. One of the common complaints I see on reviews of newborn all-in-one diapers is that the child outgrows the absorbency before they outgrow the size of the diaper. So this clever design allows you to increase the absorbency. So I can take something such as this size small doubler from Green Mountain Diapers. This is made from hemp and cotton. It's super soft, I really love this. And I can go ahead and add this into the pocket so it adds just a little bit of bulk without adding too much bulk, but it's also going to increase the absorbency. So if your newborn is to the point where they're peeing enough that the built-in absorbency just isn't enough, you can add a doubler like that. And that will make it so you can continue to use the newborn all-in-ones for a bit longer. Putting this snap closure all-in-one onto baby is one simple step. Slide it under baby, bring the front up and around. What I really like about these two rows of snaps is it allows you to adjust the leg tightness separately from the waist tightness. So if you happen to have a baby with really skinny legs but a big waist, or a baby with chubby legs but a thin waist, you can really customize the fit better when you have these two rows of snaps. You can either snap them directly up and down from each other or kind of at a diagonal to get the fit that you need. If you want, you could also snap down this umbilical snap. I would have done that before putting it on baby. And then with these, you need to check and make sure that all the absorbent cotton is tucked in. If it's sticking out, then the moisture can wick out. 
make sure you've got a nice good fit on this leg too. And that's how easy it is to put on a snapping all-in-one cloth diaper. Let's take a closer look at the Blueberry Simplex Organic Side Snapping All-in-One Diaper. I think that most people who are familiar with all-in-one diapers think of the style where the wings come from the back and they snap on the front. And Blueberry Diapers does offer an option like that in a one-size all-in-one diaper. But I really like this style here with the stretchy sides because that allows this to be used as a pull-up diaper. So if you're looking for something that a toddler can pull on and off, but that is waterproof and has the full absorbency of a cloth diaper, then this is a great option. There are also some other brands that offer side snapping all-in-ones with the stretchy sides. So if you're looking for something that provides more protection and more absorbency than cloth training pants, you could go with a pull-on style diaper like this. If you're interested in cloth training pants, I have a whole video series on those. If, we, if there was a poop in here, you can still lay your baby down to change their diaper and unsnap it. Inside the organic cotton is the same gauze fabric that pre-folds are made out of. So once you wash and prep this diaper, it gets this nice quilted look to it like this. And then there's the tongue with extra absorbency to make it easier to wash and dry. One thing I've seen is that over time, this material can get kind of some holes and tears in it, but that won't make it less effective. It'll still absorb. It just won't look quite as pretty over time. And this simplex style also has the pocket here. So you can stuff in not only the tongue, but any additional absorbency you want. So this can be really customizable. Since it does have the built-in absorbency sewn to the waterproof cover, this is an all-in-one but it's also a pocket diaper at the same time. A pocket diaper is a two-piece cloth diaper where the waterproof cover has a pocket sewn in and the absorbency is stuffed into the pocket. So the absorbency is one piece and the pocket diaper is the other piece. In general, pocket diapers usually use a stay dry polyester for this pocket. However, this is the Thirsty's natural pocket diaper so this fabric here is organic cotton. So if you're interested in a pocket diaper where the fabric against your baby's skin will be natural organic cotton, this is the one pocket diaper I know of that has that option. The natural pocket diaper comes with two inserts. The smaller one is made of organic cotton. This larger one is organic cotton and hemp. And they're designed so that you can either use one insert separately, the large or the small, or you can snap them together to use both at the same time. Already have the pocket diaper stuffed, then putting it onto baby is one simple step. Lay baby down on the diaper. Although this is a one size diaper, it has quite a higher rise than a newborn diaper would be. So this is quite a bulky diaper to be putting on this little baby doll. super simple to put on a pocket diaper. It goes on very similar to an all-in-one diaper once it's been stuffed. This has double leg gussets, so make sure that that inner gusset is touching the baby's skin. You normally won't have any absorbent material sticking out through the leg holes since it's all contained inside the pocket. If you already purchased a different style of pocket diapers and they came with polyester microfiber inserts, and you're wanting to switch to a natural fiber, you can remove the inserts and use any type of cotton inserts that you would like to inside your pocket diaper. Here are some examples of various cotton inserts from Green Mountain Diapers that can be used inside a pocket diaper. So on top, what I have here is the Cloth Ease insert in size small. This is made out of the same cotton gauze material as their pre-fold diapers are and you could use two or three of those inside a pocket diaper to customize how much absorbency you want. They also come in the size large. These size small inserts would fit in the Thirsty's natural pocket diaper when it's on the medium rise setting. 
if it's snapped all the way out to the largest rise setting, then you could fit in these size large inserts. These are in the bleached cotton. Another option is to take an actual pre-fold. This is a pre-fold from Green Mountain Diapers. It's the novice size, so it's the same outer dimensions like a small pre-fold, but it has fewer layers on it. And what you can do is just tri-fold that. And since this one isn't as thick, I think that fits nicely into the pocket diaper. You just go ahead and stuff it in. So if you already own some other styles of diapers, like say you have both pockets and pre-fold diapers, you can go ahead and use your pre-folds inside your pocket diapers. Another option that you could use is a pad folded flat diaper. So this is a one size bird's eye cotton flat from Green Mountain Diapers and it's just been folded up into a rectangle and then put inside of the pocket. So you can really use any type of absorbent material inside a pocket diaper. An all-in-two cloth diaper is a two-piece cloth diaper where the absorbency snaps into the outer waterproof cover. They can either come in wool version like this or the outside cover can be polyester. This particular one is a Lovey Bums size newborn small and this is wool crepe on the outside here. It's a very thin airy type of wool. Once the wool is lanolized it's water repellent and it will contain the moisture inside the diaper. In the lesson on wool care, you'll be able to learn all about washing and lanolizing wool diaper covers. This is the snap version. Lovey Bums also offers a hook and loop aplex closure. I prefer the snaps now just because the hook and loop is quite a tall band that would be across the baby's belly there. So to see how this works, you've got your cover on the outside and then the absorbency just snaps in right here. So this one has two snaps at the top and one at the bottom. So that's the absorbent snap-in portion of the diaper. This is a really nice, soft, organic cotton velour on top here. And these come apart just to make it easier to wash and dry. If you wanted to, you could unsnap those before washing and drying. The really neat thing about an all-in-two is once you've snapped out the insert, this is basically just a diaper cover. So you can use this cover over the other types of absorbency that we'll be talking more about in this video, such as fitted diapers, pre-folds, or flats. You can use it as a cover, or you can use it how it was intended, as an all-in-two, just by snapping in the insert. If you already have the insert snapped in, then it's just one easy step to put an all-in-two on your baby. You slide the diaper under baby, bring up the front, bring the tab up and around. There are two snaps to snap on this one, but it's just one row of snaps across the top. Snap it on, and there's no umbilical cord snap down on this one, even though it is a size newborn small. So this type of cover might fit better after the umbilical stump has fallen off. Just check and make sure you've got a good fit around the thighs, that all absorbency is tucked in. These Lovey Bum covers make a really cute round bottom on the baby. They're also great for using over fitted diapers that we'll look at soon. So there she is in an all-in-two, completely all-natural cloth diaper. The next category of natural cloth diapers that we're going to talk about are absorbent cloth diapers that can be worn with a waterproof cover over. The covers can either be made out of natural wool or synthetic polyester with a TPU laminate waterproof layer on them. Most of the time when you hear about this cloth diapering system, it will be using the absorbent diaper along with a waterproof cover over it. For my family, I like to give my baby some time at home wearing just the absorbent cloth diaper without a cover. We're gonna go ahead first and talk about the absorbency options, and after that, we'll talk about the cover options. A fitted cloth diaper is an absorbent cloth diaper that's shaped like a diaper. It has elastic around the legs and across the back. It can either close with snaps, aplex, or there's also versions that are no closure, so to close those, you will need to use 
either a snappy fastener, a boingo, or pins. All the versions I have here to show you are snap closure. As far as sizing, fitted diapers can come in newborn. They can be sized, such as small, medium, large, or they can be one size and fit a wide range of sizes. This is a newborn fitted diaper by Baby Greens. It's made in the USA and all natural. This particular version is a mixture of cotton and hemp. They also come in 100% organic cotton. This is an itty bitty little fitted diaper. Just to give you a comparison, up next to this Cloth Ease newborn fitted diaper. They're about the same width between the legs, about the same thickness here, but the rise is much shorter here on this Baby Greens newborn fitted diaper. It says that this is intended to fit from five to 14 pounds. I think that my daughter would have outgrown the rise before she got to 14 pounds, but I do think this would be a great option on a five pound baby. If you have a really small baby, then this is a newborn diaper that's gonna fit a teeny tiny baby. It's a snap closure. It does have an umbilical stump snap down, which is great if you're planning to start cloth diapering right away from birth. You wanna be able to use your cloth diapers while that umbilical stump is still on. Inside it has this soaker pad that just lays in. So at first, if your baby's not peeing so much, you could use the fitted diaper just without that soaker. And then when you need some more absorbency, you can go ahead and lay it inside. It's really nice and soft. I have heard that this hemp cotton blend gets a bit rough and stiff over time compared to the organic cotton one. So that's up to you which one you prefer. Hemp tends to absorb a bit more than cotton does. So to put a fitted diaper on, you'll slide it on your baby. If you're going to be using it with a waterproof cover, then this is gonna be a two-step process, fitted diaper and then cover. I'll be showing you the covers later. If you're gonna let your baby air out a bit and just use the fitted diaper, then it'll be one step to put on the fitted. Pull it up. There are two snaps on these wings. Pull the wing up and around and snap it. Check to make sure that you've got a good fit on the legs here. The elastic can help contain runny newborn poop. This size diaper actually fits pretty well on the stall. You also have the umbilical cord snap down if you wanted to use that. For my newborn baby, when I had her wearing just a fitted diaper without a cover over, I would have her lie on a lanolized wool puddle pad, which is water resistant. So anything underneath like the couch or the bed wouldn't get wet because the outside of this fitted diaper will get wet when the baby pees, but it's nice to have a waterproof or water repellent layer right under your baby. This is the Cloth Ease Newborn Workhorse Fitted Diaper. This is the snap closure. When I got these and unpackaged them, it just brought back all the warm fuzzy feelings because my daughter wore these as a newborn, except she just had the non-closure version instead of the snap version. Now that I see both, I actually think I would like to use the snap version. What we did with her when she still had her umbilical cord stump is we just folded down the front before bringing around the tabs and using a snappy to secure them in place. So it doesn't have an umbilical snap down, but you can use it with a brand new baby if you just fold that down. One thing I wasn't expecting at all that happened with my daughter is she was so small, five pounds, 13 ounces, and her legs were so skinny that these newborn size were actually big on her at first. So it took her a little while to grow into the newborn diapers. People often ask, is it worth it to buy newborn diapers? Should I skip them and just go on to start with a size small or start with a one size diaper? For me, my baby didn't even fit yet into newborn diapers right away. It took her a little while to fit the size of newborn diapers. Inside, is the attached soaker. This fabric is pretty much the same cotton gauze fabric that's used on Green Mountain Diaper cloth these pre-folds. This is the organic version. There's also a bleached white. For the cloth these products, including these fitted diapers, 
they are sized and they're color coded. So when a Clothings product has the orange edge, you know that that's newborn size and then they go up from there. Small, medium, large, various sizes of the fitted diapers. So as we talked about before, you'd refer to this as a sized diaper. This is another example of a sized fitted diaper. This is by Lovey Bums. And this one is a size large, which is intended to fit 18 to 30 pounds. Lovey Bums also come in newborn small, which is for birth to 12 pounds, and size medium, which is for nine to 22 pounds. My daughter wore this size large as a toddler, but it was really snapped in tight. So I think she also could have fit into a size medium at that time. Snap closure, they also come in Aplex hook and loop. After using both, I do prefer the snaps. One thing is once your child gets older and they're able to undo their diaper themselves, it's a bit harder for them to undo the snaps than with the hook and loop closure. Even a baby could take off their diaper with that. This particular one is the organic cotton velour. After trying both, I do prefer the organic cotton velour over the other organic cotton option that they offer at Lovey Bums. The soaker snaps in, so again, for better washing and drying. They say you can leave it attached if you want, but I feel it just won't dry as well, right here, where it's attached if you leave it snapped in. So for washing, I take it out. This is an example of a one size fitted diaper. So that's another option. Instead of getting sized, you could go from newborn and then go to a one size option that will fit your baby through potty learning. Green Mountain Diapers website recommends that this fits best starting about 13 pounds up to 35 pounds. This is from Baby Greens. It's organic cotton, all natural. So there's three different ways that you could use this one size diaper. It opens up pretty large, you can see here, and the soaker snaps out. So it's advertised that the first way that you could use this is you could use just this soaker as a contour diaper on a newborn baby. I'll show you how that would work on the baby doll. So if I were using this as a contour diaper, I would lay baby on it, bring it up between her legs, kind of bring the back around his flaps, and then you would need something like a snappy to go ahead and secure it. I do wanna point out here that in all the reviews I read, people did not have very much luck using this alone as a contour diaper. It just didn't give a super great fit around the legs to contain that runny newborn poop. You could also lay it inside a diaper cover, but again, it's not gonna be great containment. I think the better option, instead of trying to use this as a contour diaper with the newborn, is just to start with the Baby Greens newborn size fitted diaper before moving on to their one size fitted diaper. So when your baby has grown a bit and they've either outgrown using this as a contour or they've outgrown a newborn fitted diaper, then you can use this in the next way. And what you do is this has a fold down rise. So you fold the front down here to whatever height you need to get the appropriate rise for your baby. And then these snaps come around and you snap them onto this row of snaps here. So in general, fitted diapers that are one size, they achieve the one size by folding down the rise. Now after your baby has outgrown this rise setting, you'll unfold it so it's a it's full rise. And then what you'll do is you'll take the contour the soaker and you'll snap it in to these snaps here so you won't have this row of snaps pressing against your child's skin because you'll snap this in so that makes it nice smooth against their skin and also this will add absorbency so by this point your baby might be a toddler they need more absorbency and then you're going to use this bottom row of snaps here to snap the waist it makes it look like this diaper has a really high rise, but you should keep in mind that it's actually snapping right here. So this is more like where the rise is on the diaper, but there will be this extra fabric that'll go up higher. 
So when you're choosing a cover, you're going to want to choose a really full coverage type of cover to cover up all the absorbent material. As a comparison, this is the one size baby greens next to the size large lovey bums. And I think that this one size diaper would fit a bit bigger of a child with the leg openings and the higher rise than this size large would. So the one size really would take you all the way to potty learning once your baby starts fitting into it. A pre-fold cloth diaper is a rectangular cloth diaper with more layers down the center and fewer layers on the sides. It basically started out as a really wide piece of fabric that was folded up and stitched, so it's been pre-folded for you. It's a pre-fold. In general, pre-folds are most often made out of cotton gauze fabric like this. This is 100% organic cotton, but they can also be made out of different types of cotton fabric. For example, this is 100% cotton, but it's Sherpa. So it has a different texture, a different feeling to it. It's also a size small pre-fold. Pre-folds come in various sizes. These are all Green Mountain Diapers Clothies pre-folds, and you can tell the size based on the stitching on the edges. So this is a preemie pre-fold. It has two layers, six layers, and two layers. These are not very absorbent. I use them right away with my daughter, but she very quickly outgrew the absorbency of the preemie pre-fold. Then the standard sizes are like the newborn and small, medium, large, extra large. There are also in-between sizes that have fewer layers. So here with the gray edge, we have a newbie, and that's two layers, six layers, and two layers. Then the same outer dimensions is the newborn size, but it's thicker at four layers, eight layers, four layers with the orange edge for newborn. And we have the novice here. This is the same dimensions as the small, but the novice has four layers, six layers, four layers, the light green edge, and the small has four layers, eight layers, four layers, and the yellow edge. These do also have large and extra large I just don't have those sizes to show you. For my kids, we pretty much would be within the range of the preemie newborn and the size small for them. I'm going to show you four different ways you could use a pre-fold cloth diaper. Maybe some ways you haven't seen before. Since our family practices elimination communication, I like to give my babies some diaper free time where I can observe them, learn their signals they do right before they pee or they poop, and just let their skin breathe some. This is also a great option if your baby has a diaper rash and you want to let them air out. So here I have a lanolized wool puddle pad to protect the bed, carpet, couch, whatever's underneath it. This is like my waterproof layer. And then I just have the pre-fold diaper laying flat and open underneath my baby. This can work good for a baby girl where the pee just tends to go down. For a baby boy where the pee can shoot off in any direction, it may not work as well to have them laying just on a flat prefold. But this is one reason I really like prefold diapers is they can be used in many different ways. Next option that can work for either a girl or a boy is to use a diaper belt along with the prefold. This is a wool diaper belt from Baby Greens. It's made of the same super soft wool like their wool diaper covers are. So what you would do is just place the diaper belt around the baby's waist. It has elastic in it, so it's nice and stretchy. And then I tri-fold the pre-fold, just fold it into thirds, and go ahead and tuck that up under the diaper belt. So if you're doing elimination communication with a baby boy and you want to learn their signals, but you won't want the pee to go shooting across the room, you can do this diaper belt and pre-fold method I have another video that goes into more detail about this and some do-it-yourself options. This is also called small style diapering since they look like a little sumo wrestler like this. It's not going to have the best containment around their legs, but if you just want some option to use for part of the day where you're right there close watching your baby, it allows you to see immediately when this diaper is wet or if you're doing EC, you can simply flap this down and offer your baby the potty. It's really easy to take out the pre-fold and put in a clean dry one. You can also use a pre-fold cloth diaper along with a waterproof diaper cover. This is the Baby Greens Classic Side Snapping Cover. This is the newborn size. I absolutely loved this size diaper on my daughter who was born five pounds, 13 ounces. 
because it was the only newborn diaper in our stash that fit her right from birth. It's a really great cover. I've only heard good things about it. One thing that is really nice about this cover is it's super trim fitting. So it works to just tri-fold the pre-fold, fold it in thirds, and lay it inside this cover. So some diaper covers have a looser fit. It won't work as well to do this tri-fold method, but if you're looking for something that allows that super simple method, then I highly recommend a Baby Greens side snapping wool cover. If you're wondering, well, won't the newborn poop just leak out and get on the wool cover? Then you'll definitely want to watch our lesson on cloth diapering plus elimination communication. So to put this on, it makes it super simple. You can put it onto baby in one step. With this cover, the flap goes below the front of the cover instead of coming across the front like a lot of covers do. I really like the sleek, minimalist look of this. It gives just this nice, smooth front with no excess snaps there. And when my daughter was really young, it was just so nice and soft if I was holding her and this was against me. You'll want to make sure all the pre-fold is tucked inside, that it's all contained inside the water repellent wool cover. Again, we'll have a lesson all on washing and lanolizing wool covers and give you a few different options of how you can do that. I highly, highly recommend this style wool cover for a newborn because it's easier to lay your baby down and use a wrap style wool cover than it is to pull up a cover onto a newborn. Next way to use a pre-fold is to secure it on your baby first. So again, I would start by tri-folding it, then flare it out a bit in the back. Go ahead and lay baby down on that. When you fold it up, if the rise is too high, you could fold the rise down a little bit. I'm gonna bring these wings around from the back. Bring the other wing around. And now I'm going to use a snappy fastener to grab the side here. Be careful because these are really sharp claws on there. Grab the side there and grab the middle. So this way we have it secured on a bit more. This will be better containment around the legs if you're worried about that. And once we've got it either snappied in place or if you're brave, you can also use diaper pins to secure that on. Then you can go ahead and add the cover over. The snappies aren't really supposed to be used without a cover because if this comes unhooked, they're really sharp claws and they could hurt your baby. So we're gonna be pairing that with a cloth ease wrap. This is a polyester cover with TPU waterproof layer in it. This is the size one. It also comes in a size zero. I find this size one gives more coverage over this newborn size prefold. This has two rows of snaps, so I bring it up and over, snap the leg one and the waist one, bring the other wing up and over. You can again customize to the leg and to the waist when you have these two separate rows. So I highly recommend covers that have two rows of snaps. This gives a really snug fit around the legs and it does have that double gusset, so as long as that's touching, Make sure all the pre-fold is tucked in. Uh-oh, see on the back here? So you wanna double check once you've put it on baby just to make sure all the absorbent material is under the waterproof layer. Otherwise the liquid can seep up and get onto the clothes. So a nice good coverage there. So that's another option of how you can use a pre-fold is secure it onto baby first and then put the waterproof cover on. A flat cloth diaper is made of a single layer of absorbent fabric. They're often in the shape of a square or for a newborn half flat, a rectangle. The two options of flats offered by Green Mountain Diapers are both woven cotton. This one is bird's eye cotton and they also offer muslin flats. So these are both woven. They don't have much stretch to them. In the do-it-yourself groups for making flat cloth diapers, it's often popular to make stretchy flats, so those are made out of knit fabrics. There are many different ways to fold a flat diaper before securing it on your baby. This is the Clothies Bird's Eye Half Flat. The easiest way to fold this is a pad fold, which is just folding it into a rectangular shape. So first I'm going to fold it in half once, 
Then I can fold this down a little bit to get the appropriate rise for my baby. For a newborn, you normally fold it into fourths. If you have a bigger baby and you're using a one size flat, you might just fold it into thirds. This particular way, there's gonna be more absorbency up here where I fold it down the rise a bit and not as much absorbency here. I can use this pad folded flat with a diaper belt. The great thing about a wool diaper belt is that the lanolin neutralizes the pee and when it's lanolized, it's also water repellent. So if the pee seeps up this flat diaper a bit and touches the wool diaper belt, that's okay. I can keep using that diaper belt or air it out for a bit and then use it again later. Versus if you had a cotton diaper belt, as soon as that cotton one gets pee on it, it's going to need to be washed. So if you want to let your baby air out or to learn whenever they're peeing, my baby will see immediately when it's wet, you could use a pad folded flat tucked into a diaper belt. There are different styles of diaper belts. This one is kind of like a big hair scrunchie where it's just elastic covered in wool. There are other styles of diaper belts that Velcro or snap, so they're a little bit more adjustable. This is the size small baby greens diaper belt. Your option is to use the pad folded flat inside a diaper cover, so I can lay that right inside the baby greens newborn cover and then place the baby on it bring up the flat so flats are also extremely versatile even more so than a prefold you could use a flat as a drying cloth like a kitchen cloth you can use a flat as a blanket you can use it in multiple ways on your baby So a pad folded flat with a wool cover over. I would not use pad folding if you're using a type of wool cover that you pull up. That's just not gonna hold it in place as well. But a wrap style wool cover that snaps and is trim fitting like this baby greens one can work with pad folding. So here's an example of the muslin diaper in the size newborn. So it's more of a rectangular shape and then can fold it over to make more of a square, but this still isn't really a square right now. It's more of a rectangle. And then you can look up all different flat cloth diaper folds. There's many different ways that you can fold it. Some are better for girls or boys to put the absorbency in different places before you secure it onto your baby. I'm going to be using this cloth these bird's eye cotton half flat and doing the kite fold. I'm going to start by folding it in half once. And by getting a newborn size diaper, it'll have about half as much of the absorbency as a regular one size flat diaper. And that'll just make it so it's less bulky on your baby. You could go ahead and use one size flats all the way from birth to potty training. So for the kite fold, I like to think of it at first as making like an ice cream cone. I guess it's making a kite shape here. At this point, I'm going to bring baby over. If you're planning to use flats on a newborn, you can do what I've been doing and use a baby doll to practice. For this one, you can fold down the front to get the correct rise on your baby. It always helps on flats or prefolds to roll in where it's going to be around the legs a little bit, just for better containment. Get the rise where we want it there and then bring this wing around and bring this wing around. Then I'm going to take my snappy fastener, grab one side, grab the other, and down. I didn't ever use these type of folds when I was cloth diapering my babies, so I'm kind of new to this as well. You can make sure it's a good fit around their legs, good fit here. Flat cloth diapers are considered the old fashioned, what our grandmothers may have used for cloth diapering, but I've noticed a lot of people who have been cloth diapering for years and tried many different styles, they do end up really liking flat diapers. So just because they're not as modern, 
doesn't mean they're not as good. They work great, they're easy to wash, easy to dry. And then you go ahead and put the cloth diaper cover over. So this is a two-step process to first fasten on the flat diaper and then secondly to put on the cover over it. So flat diaper can be a very trim option and this baby greens cover is also a pretty trim diaper cover. A waterproof diaper cover can be worn over an absorbent cloth diaper. It could either be made out of polyester or it could be a water repellent cover made out of wool. There are different closure options. It could close with snaps, it could close with hook and loop, which I don't have an example of that here, or it could be a pull-on style. Let's start by looking at these Cloth Ease wrap covers. These are available exclusively through the Green Mountain Diapers website. I have here to show you the size zero, which is intended for four to 10 pounds. And this is really meant if you're going to be cloth diapering right away and you want an option with an umbilical cord snap down. The size one is to fit seven to 14 pounds. So many newborns could go straight into a size one, but this does not have the umbilical cord snap down option. They also come in other sizes. Size two is to fit 14 to 24 pounds and size three is to fit 25 to 38 pounds. They refer to these as true size covers because you're going to get a really good fit with each individual size. This is the very smallest one, the size zero. So this would have been perfect for me when I was cloth diapering right from birth with my daughter and she was so small, five pounds, 13 ounces. I wish I had had a cover like this at the time. So it has this unique feature where it has two different rows of rise snaps and it also has two different settings for the umbilical cord snap down. So for the smallest of baby, you can take this snap down all the way from there. And now that leaves exposed just this lower row of snaps here. So you can bring around the wing and snap it onto one of these lower snaps. And by doing this, you can get a really teeny tiny small size diaper cover there with the little itty bitty legs, double gusset. That's what we really needed is that most of our newborn diapers were big around my daughter's legs. So this would be perfect for if you have a really small newborn baby. That was one option. You can also do a different option for the umbilical snap down, this one. And then that leaves this top row of snaps exposed. So then you can bring the wing around and snap it up onto one of these top row snaps. So this is a slightly higher rise than the first option I showed you, but this is still a pretty small newborn cover. I really like having some kind of option that leaves room for the umbilical stump so that you don't have the diaper cover bumping against and irritating the stump when your baby's brand new. I've got her wearing this preemie prefold snappy on. This is the itty bittiest tiny clothies prefold there is. And I'm going to pair that with the size zero. I've got the higher umbilical snap down snapped. Go ahead and pull this cover on up. So this is a two step process. I first put on the prefold and now I'm going to put on the cover, bring the wing around. These covers only come in white just to keep them an economical option. If you're looking for a stash just to use during the newborn phase before you move on to a different style of cloth diaper or a one size cloth diaper, then this is a really great option if you want something where you're not gonna spend a whole lot of money on getting just newborn sized covers. So let's take a look at how I did here. We're gonna need to tuck in the prefold there. Make sure the prefold is also tucked under the waterproof layer in the back and around the other leg. And if you want to see pictures of how these fit on actual newborn babies, check out the Green Mountain Diapers website. For each of their products, they have lots of pictures on various size babies so you can get an idea of how these would fit. The size zero covers are a bit different from all the other size of clothies wrap covers in the way that they have these two different rows to allow for different 
rise settings. On the size one, you can see how the other covers are shaped. So what it has is one row of rise snaps to allow a slight adjustment in the rise. There aren't multiple rise settings like there would be on a one size diaper, but you can customize the rise a little bit. So if your baby needs a shorter rise, you could go ahead and snap these up. Make sure the material is up. And then you're gonna have these two rows of snaps for bringing around the wings. Again, I love that because it allows you to choose the option you want for the legs, plus choose the option you want for the waist. She's wearing a Clothies workhorse fitted diaper in the newborn size, and I'm going to pair that with the Clothies wrap size one. I have the rise snaps all the way unsnapped in front. I think that works best for getting over the rise of this newborn diaper. If you're wondering about how to pair different size absorbencies with covers, you can check out the pictures on Green Mountain Diapers website where they show the different products on various size babies. It's really helpful to be able to see which pre-folds or fitteds might fit with which covers. So first I'm snapping the snap that determines the leg size and then the one that determines the waistband size. Now I'm going to go and check and make sure that the fitted diaper is tucked in around the legs. Sticking out a little bit there. You want to make sure all your absorbency is underneath. In the back too, make sure the fitted diaper is under the cover. If any is sticking out, then the moisture can wick out on to clothes or whatever the baby's lying on. So there we have the Clothies Wrap size one paired with a newborn workhorse diaper. Now we'll take a look at a couple wool wrap covers. If it has wings that come around and snap or have hook and loop closure, that's referred to as a wool wrap as opposed to a wool soaker that you just pull on. So again, this is from my Lovey Bums in One, which is an all-in-two cloth diaper, but I'm using it right now as a cover instead of with the snap-in insert. She's wearing the Workhorse Newborn Fitted Diaper. So that's step one to put on the fitted diaper. Step two is to put on the cover. These Lovey Bum wool covers, they also have ones that are just solely covers that don't have the snap-in insert. They're very generously sized, so they work well over a fitted diaper. There's plenty of room for a nice fluffy diaper under the lovey ones. They're not as snug fitting as the baby greens cover. So that has plenty of room to cover up the whole newborn fitted diaper. I used these two paired together on my daughter. So you make sure you've got good leg fitting right there and right there. All the fitted diaper is contained under the water repellent wool diaper cover. Baby Greens makes two different styles of wool wrap covers. This one I call the side snap or on Green Mountain Diapers it's referred to as the classic cover. They also have a different one, a wool wrap cover where the wings come around and snap in front. I prefer the very sleek minimalist look that this gives. So first she has on her workhorse fitted newborn diaper. So that was step one, putting that on. And step two is putting on the wool cover. So it works to bring this wing around first since it goes underneath. Bring the other wing around and just do those snaps. Since this is wool and it's breathable, it is okay if it goes over an umbilical cord stump. So what I did with my daughter before her stump fell off is I just would have the waist on a really loose setting. So that allowed a little bit more room for her stump to be under there because the wool is breathable. That's okay to do. Again, make sure. And I never had any problems with leaks coming out that way. What was important was the legs were fitting really snugly. Make sure it's tucked under there. So these Baby Greens Classic covers, they work well with anything with a trifolded prefold. They work well with a fitted diaper. They're a really great cover. This is a Desana knit wool cover. It's a pull-on style wool soaker. This one, the tag says three to six months, but on the Green Mountain Diapers website, Karen recommends that this fits well for about six to 13 pounds. So I'm considering this about a newborn size. They also do have a smaller size labeled zero to three months, which Karen suggests fits about 
a 6 to 11 pound size, so that would be an even itty bitty one. With this, you're going to have to pull it on, which can be a little tricky with a newborn. It gets easier to use pull on style as they get bigger, but I think since this is a really stretchy knit, that's going to help make it easier for you to get it up and over. You're going to want a diaper that's nicely secured onto your baby, like a fitted diaper, or if you're comfortable with securing on flats or prefolds, they can be used under this too, but they're going to have to be secured on. There's so much material on this style soaker that you can fold it down, you can fold the legs, just however you want. Remember that wool is breathable, it's temperature regulating, so it's not likely to overheat your baby, especially knit wool is very breathable. You can kind of tell from the texture. The final style of wool cover that I'd like to show you is a pull-on soaker that's made with interlock wool. So this is really tight together. You can use this without doing any felting to it and use maybe less lanolin on it to get a good waterproofness than if you have a really airy knit wool cover. If you're interested in using wool diaper covers, please be sure to subscribe and watch our upcoming lesson on wool care where I will show you multiple ways to wash and lanolize wool diaper covers. And this is just a selection of the styles of wool covers that are available. There are even more different options such as snapping ones that also have rise adjustment snaps to make them one size covers. There are ones that close with a plitz hook and loop closure. So there are many options when it comes to all natural wool diaper covers. If you want a stay dry liner against your baby's skin, you could use a wool liner like this one from Baby Greens. You do not want to lanolize this. You want to leave it with no lanolin on it so that it will absorb. But instead of using a polyester stay dry liner, you can use a wool one. That's a great option inside a nighttime diaper so that they won't feel the wetness when the cotton gets wet. That wraps up lesson three on the various types of natural cloth diapers. Stay tuned for lesson four, where I will provide tips on building a natural cloth diaper stash. We'll go over the various spectrums, such as ease of putting on baby, ease of washing and drying, and talk about other factors to consider when you're choosing among these various styles. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's make cloth mainstream.